Hi, I'm Stuart with Downtown Sailing, and in this short video we're going to talk about Mark Room at the Leward Mark and the Leward Mark Round. For Downtown Sailing, all marks shall be left to port, so we're doing left-hand turns, go fast, turn left, and um, while there are a lot of uh, details and a lot of opinions surrounding Mark Room, I'm going to try to uh, provide you with an opportunity to be successful and kind of stay out of the room. The biggest thing with mark room is understanding that the zone starts three boat lengths outside of the zone, or outside of the mark, rather, and that as soon as a boat enters the zone, either clear ahead or with an inside overlap, she is entitled to mark room, which is room to sail to the mark when her proper course is to do so and then room to round the mark. In this case, all of the boats are on starboard tack, and uh, there's another little rule that when boats are on required to jibe the lured mark, they shall sail no further from the mark than their proper course is for the jibe. Okay? So, um, in the old days, you used to be able to do a really tactical kind of wide and tight mark rounding against your competitors, um, but these days you're only allowed to do wide and tight in so far as it relates to other boats uh, not in rule that might be sailing on ahead of you. Um, so again, the way the rules work is if you have to jive, you have to sail no further away than your proper course during the jive. And it may be in your best interest to do a wide and tight rounding in order to get kind of a tactical, kind of high exit on boats ahead, but you can no longer, or you cannot go out and kind of shove these boats out of your way just because you're the lured starboard tack boat. That's also the inside boat. If you're approaching the mark from port, on port tack, even though you might have been the windward boat, from the time that you enter the zone, either clear ahead or inside, you now have room, mark room, room to sail to the mark, and room to round the mark. Now how much room is too much room? All right, how much room is too much room? Boats are not entitled to take all the room that they want in the world. But there is some leverage in terms of being able to uh, kind of get that chart of wide and tight rounding. There's a lot of case studies out there. Um, there's a book of appeals, there's X, Y, and Z, and essentially the short of it is if you have room to round and you're not interfering with other boats as they turn around, and there's not room for other boats to get in, then then it's enough room. Although you may find that in this instance, this boat didn't have enough room to get in um, and could end up having some protest issues uh, since it came in from clear stern. So just something to be aware of there. With mark roundings, if you find yourself clear astern or on that outside of that inside overlap, the best thing you can do is to slow down. Now in this instance, it's a, this boat's in a really bad spot because uh, it has, uh, it's outside of both of these boats. So the best thing that these boats can do as they get ready to round are to uh, go ahead and just kind of get in line and that way when you round, you're not losing a lot of distance. Okay? Best way to slow down is to trim that main sheet in, maybe take your kite down early. Um, the worst thing you can do is to get pinwheeled and then sail far away from your next mark. So that's mark room, that's the lured mark. Room, how much room is enough room? Well, don't take more than you're entitled to, uh, but take as much as you can. 